just like to put a signature there. There you go. We're here. <laughs> it's official. We're officially applying to become foster parents. Well, officially applying to apply. It's a start, isn't it? I'm so excited. No. <laughs> I suppose you can be trusted to post this from work, can't you? Try stopping me. I'm snatch. <laughs> Hiya. There have been an emergency call out something. Hmm? Well, just wondered why you were in so early. Couldn't sleep. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I'll get your caffeine fixed, shall I? You want me to get that? Please. Morning surgery. I'll be here till 10, so take your coffee break. Why do we find this totally fascinating? <laughs> Come on, you lot. You'll be late. Ooh, I don't think so. Oh, go on, Chloe, for me. Hey, look, there are lots of favours I'd do for you, but going to a lunch where a load of suits discuss the holiday village isn't one of them. Yeah, well, I know it sounds dull. Uh, yeah. Why do you think I asked you to come with me? I will go mad on my own. You could bring Scott. Hmm? Oh, well, what de do? I'll owe you one. OK, please. All right, but it's a big one. I'm thinking shopping with your credit card. You're a diamond. <laughs> Got you. Have you uh, been collecting our child benefits, have we? Are you trying to ambush me? Come on, stump up. Hey, hey, and the rest. Right, I'll just get off to work now, shall I? See if we can earn a bit more for you. At least she's making a contribution. Yeah, only if I see her first. See ya. Morning. Hiya. Sorry, I just wondered how you got on with Zoe. Well, put it this way, we've had better conversations. Right, it's just what with today being, you know, with your dad and everything, maybe you should pop in and see how she's doing. What, and take more abuse? Oh, come on, Chris, she's bound to be really stressed out about it. Funny enough, I do realise that Paddy wasn't an only child, was she? No, no, sorry. Anyway, the point is, whatever she wants right now, well, it isn't sympathy. Chris, But just... I will stop by later, OK? All right, thank you. Criticising my shop. I've been working like mad trying to make this place look floral. Uh, no, it's not the decor I'm objecting to, Viv. I'm just saying I'm surprised, that's all. With the shop being the village well, nerve centre, so to speak, well, I would have expected at least you'd have some Union Jacks on sale for the children to wave. Well, believe me, there's nothing I'd like more than to have the whole place decked out in them. So why don't you? Because of the hard commercial reality, no one would buy them. This isn't like 77, you know. People don't feel the same. Won't be worth me while. <laughs> well, that's the trouble, if you ask me. You know, you people want to get your priorities right. What do you mean? Well, paper hats and flags and whatnot. It's just a load of disposable, well, junk, isn't it? It's a rip-off. And youngins can smell that a mile off. And unfortunately, unlike us of the older generation, they don't really know what the Jubilee's all about. I beg your pardon. Well, it's true, my generation's probably the last generation to really appreciate royalty. Uh, well, I'm not sure that is quite true, Betty. Why do you think I brought the subject up? Right, yeah, but all I'm saying is that when Her Majesty came to the throne, we all knew that she stood for something real. The Commonwealth, the Empire, a country who stood alone during the war. And that is why the monarchy will always mean a whole lot more to me than a few items of bric-a-brac. What is that apart from your Edward and Sophie mugs? Or the Princess Royal vase you just put in your front room? Oh, well, if you're going to... Or the picture of the Queen you got out the other day just to see if her hair's changed since the silver. Well, pardon me for breathing, won't you? And even if you do start selling flags, I won't be buying any off you. Good day to you. You know, she spends more time looking at pictures of the royal family than that Jenny Bond. Uh, Viv, how do you know? Hmm? 
Have you been a regular house guest at Betty's recently or something? Only in a manner of speaking. Follow me. Oh, great. What time will he be back? Well, can't I at least have his mobile number? Well, then will you get him to call me? Yeah, on this number. Look, I know I've already left a message, but he still hasn't got back to me and it's urgent. Yes, it's not for personal calls. I know, I'm sorry. It's just... My eating's broke down and my landlord's gone AWOL and I've had no hot water all weekend. Well, can't you just get an engineer in? I shouldn't have to, it's not my house. Just stay off the phone, okay? I don't know why you're getting so upset about it. Fascinating. You or me? What I like to say? Why do you take any notice? Because I think it's important. That's why it's more important than selling a few paltry little paper flowers. She's got a point, of course. It's a real shame people aren't being more enthusiastic. You can't force people to be interested, can you? Especially not the young. I mean, it's all a bit irrelevant to them, isn't it? You know, Eric and I were thinking about that. We wondered about the possibility of crowning a village Jubilee Queen. Oh, come off it. The kids round here wouldn't... Maybe Donna could be persuaded to enter. Donna? Is it my Donna? Who else? She's very pretty. Yes, she is, isn't she? But, as you say, if no-one can be bothered... No, no, don't put words into my mouth. I was just saying that sometimes people need a bit of persuasion, that's all. Oh, I see. And, uh, do you think you'd be able to help with that at all? Well, I'd be failing in my patriotic duty if I didn't, wouldn't I? So, how's the new place? Not so good. I got bad back from keeping on the floor. What were you keeping on the floor for? I didn't have much choice, there. Still not with you? Well, after Scott chucked me out, I needed somewhere to stay pronto, so I stayed at a mate's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scott chucked you out? Yeah. So you've got nowhere to live? Not as such, no. Like I say, I stayed on my mate's floor. Hence the bad back. Right. Oh, dear. I think you caused some trouble in paradise there. <clears throat> you think? Well, I don't know who she was, this mate of yours, but uh, <clears throat> you didn't get that bad back from keeping on floor. Nope. Sorry, I wasn't yes, sure. Yes, what is it? Chris is here. Hello. Hello. A bit harsh there, weren't we? Should get over it. It's an odd time for a social call, if that's what this is. I just came to see how you were. Oh, I'm marvellous. Yeah. But today I was over at Dad's grave and I was surprised that you hadn't put any flowers down, that's all. Never beaten you to it before. I'm going later. I'm going to go later! Okay. I was just saying. I'm sorry. It's a... It's a tough day. Believe me, I do understand. Do you? Yes. I miss him. Zoe? What? Like I said, come over tonight for a meal. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. Good. Well, I'd better be getting on. Give us a ring and let me know what time you're coming, yeah? I will. See you. Seen you all weekend. Do you miss me? I'll be telling. What can I get you? Oh, a pie, please. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, of course we are. I mean, it's serious. Yes, we realise that funnily enough. What's all this? Nothing. It's just... <laughs> me and Emily are applying to become foster parents. Really? Well, we filled in the registration of interest forms this morning. <laughs> That's very admirable of you. I don't know how I cope. Thank you. That's just what I've been telling him. Marlon. No, but seriously, though, it's a huge commitment, isn't it? Yes, we realise that. Thank you very much. Yeah, but you don't know what you're getting, do you? You could get an arsonist, or some kind of axe murderer, or... or... A dingle. It's got to be considered. Not that you've got any preconceptions or anything. Well, 
Personally, I can't imagine a couple better suited to it. Oh. Honestly. No, 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 it's true. Oh, Alan, uh, while I think of it, oh, Letitia might be a bit late today. Laura mixed up after who was looking after Kirk. Ah, uh, well, not to worry. If her work recently is anything go by, she'll, uh, she'll soon make it up. Oh, well, she's been working hard, has she? Yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Don't give her too much credit. She's not doing it out of goodness of her heart. Well, it's all in good cause, though. If you say so. It's a bit uncharitable, isn't it? I mean, surely you must have appreciated those photos. Photos? Of Kirk. Sorry, Alan, you've lost me completely now. Oh. Well, very silly of me. I must have been thinking of someone else. <coughs> right, excuse me. You gonna order some lunch? Actually, I'm not that hungry. <clears throat> Top up for that? Not really thirsty, either. What do you fancy? Bob, cover the bar. Where, where are you going? Chloe? Chloe? Don't even think about getting served in here. And especially don't think about ordering anything hot, cos it's liable to end up in your lap. All right. Hey, what's Rich just done now? Oh, Sid just decided to live somewhere else, Chloe. Oh. Yeah, oh. Listen, I... Why should I? Look, you don't know what he was saying about you. This better be something really obscene. I overheard him talking to Mac in the pub. He was saying how much he fancied you. Oh, so you were defending my honour? Well, yeah. Oh, please. You thought I fancied him back. I mean, how long have we been together now, and you still think I want to hop into bed with every lad who fancies me? No, I don't think that. It's Honest... a question of trust, Scott. I do trust you. Yeah, well, you better. Because if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. I'm serious. And so am I. I'm sorry about Sid. Okay. All right, you can sit down. I'll get you something to eat. OK. I'll have a... Uh... You'll get what you're given. Sorry. Hey, what's going on? I want that on. Mrs. Howell, would you like to just go through to the consultation room? I'll be with you in a second. Thank you. Well? Zoe, it was like Glastonbury flipping festival in here. I want the music on. Yeah? And I'd like a little bit of peace and quiet, thank you. Well, whatever for, why is so keen that I... But this place is like a morgue. So that can tell Mrs Owl that Basie's test results have come through and that he has to be put down. Is that all? Zoe? I'm just trying to keep things cheerful. Is there anything wrong with that? No, but there is a question of a time and a place. All right. Excuse me. I can go. What? Paddy's back, the surgery's covered. Is there any calls outside the village? I don't mind. Uh, no, Paddy's done the rounds. You know he has. Well, he should have told me. I could have done them. Yes. Blows down. <coughs> Talk about shameless. Sad, I call it. She's acting like some love-struck teenager. It'll be a age, a midlife crisis. Women get them too, you know. Personally, what he sees in a woman that age is a mystery to me. And me. I'll tell you what he sees in me, ladies. Stamina. Isn't that right, love? Every time. And quite frankly, the pair of you two put together wouldn't have enough. Found you. Oh, Tisha. I'm really sorry I'm late. Can I have the keys so I can make a start? Yes, yes, of course. Listen, there's no chance of any extra work, is there? We're only really strapped for cash at the moment. We're taking small photos of young Kirk, are we? <laughs> no, and after I paid for them others. Oh, you should see him, Mr. Turner. They're dead good. I see. Um, anyway, about this extra work. I, I'm afraid there isn't anything extra that needs doing, Letitia. Oh. 
Says you're already late. I, I suggest you go and get on. Right. You are joking, no way. Why not? You'll be good at it. Well, I'm not even getting into this argument. If you think I'm getting dressed up and being paraded round in front of everyone, you're out of your tree. We'll see. Do you see what I have to put up with? So, you don't fancy it then? Do you? Uh, no. I mean, the parade's one thing, but all the rehearsals and auditions and that, I don't think so. It might be all right. You what? Really? No, it's all right, just ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe! What now? You could have heard this in flipping out and what's going on. I can't cope with this anymore. You can't cope. No, I can't, and neither can Nicola. Look, I, I, I appreciate that this must be a bad day for you, but this, this doesn't help anybody. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Zoe, I'm sorry. <laughs> He just won't leave me alone. I'm so sorry. I, 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 Zoe, well, that's the nature of it, isn't it? You, you think you're getting over something and, and, and then all of a sudden it'll hit you. I know today was bound to be a bad day for you. It's not just today. It's all the time. I know, I know. And I, I know you must miss him so much. And I'm sorry I shouldn't have blown up at you. I'm sorry. Zoe, I'll, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go home and we'll manage, we'll manage. Right. You're all right. What is going on? What do you mean? Why is he here? He's moved back in like we agreed at lunchtime. What? What are you talking about? I didn't agree to that. Right. While you two discuss this, I'm going to nip out. If you need me, I'll be over in the pub, okay? Oh, and if you decide I've got to move out, just let me know so I can move my stuff. Ta. Right, we'll start talking. There's nothing to talk about. And if you agree you shouldn't have thrown him out because you do actually trust me, then there isn't a problem, is there? I didn't think you were going to move him back in. Well, then, I'm sorry if there's been a bit of a misunderstanding, but I did. No, Chloe. You... So he's back and he stays, all right? Hey, that I'm sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> I hope Zoe's going to be a bit... Uh... Easier to deal with tomorrow. Sure, she will be. Nicole. Oh, are you still here? Yeah. Right. Well, is there any reason? Because we're way past closing time. No, no. Did I tell you my heating had broke? Yeah, yeah, you did, and it's a good job it's not midwinter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No hot water though. Shame. And it's a bit, well, you know, not very cosy, just me on my own. Not like it is here with you and M. Ah. Well, here's a thought. Yeah? We've got an hot water bottle. Yeah. Well, there you go, then. Put the kettle on. Bob's your uncle. Instant coziness. <laughs> and uh, don't bother looking up. I'll do that. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye! What's on? Nothing much. Oh, Scott, you're not still sulky. I said I'm sorry, right? I don't see why he has to stay. Because you trust me? Is it not enough just to say that I do? No, I need proof. So either way, he gets to stay. Yep. Oh, come on, let's kiss and make up. No, I'm not in the mood. Oh, Scott! I'm serious. Fine, you're lost. You can always read, I suppose. Yeah, and you can chuck some blankets down when you're there. I'm sleeping here tonight. Fishing, football, <laughs> films, computer games. We've got to get some computer games. Kids love computer we, games. We can't jump the gun, Paddy. We've, we've a long way to go yet. Yeah, I know. But we've, we've got police checks and preparation sessions and meetings with social workers, all sorts. And, and they might say that we're not suited to it. Oh, rubbish. We're naturals. Ashley said so. Oh, well, if Ashley says so. <laughs> that was nice of you to say, though, wasn't it? Like you're looking forward to this as much as me. I am. Of course I am. I, I had my reservations at first, but 
since we've got the ball rolling, it's going to be like getting an instant family, isn't it? I suppose so. The only disadvantage is you don't get the fun of making babies. Do you think? It's no good. I keep getting the answering service. Well, she's probably got a phone switched off. You don't know Paddy's number off handy. No, why are you calling him? We'll see if we can go round and check up on her. Chris, she's over 21. Look, you invited her for dinner and she didn't show up. She's plainly trying to make you react. So why are you letting yourself get manipulated? I'm not being manipulated. You should have seen the way she was this morning. I don't mean to be harsh, and I know he was your dad. But, you know, five years is a hell of a long time. People move on. I mean, you have. Different strokes. Oh, come on. You don't want to wrap in your round a little finger, do you? Glass of water. All right. Well, hurry up, will you? Some of us are trying to get some sleep in here. I'm sorry, I couldn't come. I just couldn't come. I. I let you down. I, I know I let you down. I'm sorry. I, I really tried to be good. I, I really, really. Try to be a good daughter to you and... No! I'm sorry, forgive me! I was protecting Chris. I was protecting my brother. No, please, 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 please. I will be good. I will be the daughter that you wanted. I will be. 